Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last Tommy Fletcher. How easy is the pro game, or how easy do you make the pro game look? Oh, I wouldn't say it's easy yet. I know it can be a lot harder, but um, yeah, debut win, you know, good performance. I think it was over fairly quick, but I'm sure I'll come again and uh, put another good performance in and hopefully knock him out. Um, I know you're going to kind of understate the win, but it's still a win in quick fashion. It's on TV, so it's going to get people excited. Is that kind of the ideal debut? You'll have harder fights, but is that the ideal debut? Yeah, definitely. I think what more can people want to do? You know, uh, everyone wants to win their debut. If you knock them out, it's a bonus. But I think uh, a couple fights pulled out, so they managed to put me on the TV slot. So I just took it, took it in my stride, you know, I rose to the occasion. And I had a good amount of people there watching me. You must have heard it yourself, you know. There's a lot of, lot of fans there tonight out to support me. I'd just like to thank them for spending their hard-earned money to come watch me. I think it was a good night. Good night. Did you get to enjoy it? Because I speak to a lot of pros who say when they get under the lights, something just goes, not that they go a bit stiff, but they kind of, it's a blur and they don't really remember it much. Did you take it all in, take the fans, take everything kind of in and cherish a day? Yeah, to be fair, although it was quick, I felt like I was enjoying it. You know, I was, up, I was well up for it. I was uh, giving it a little dance before I walked out and that. I, was, I, was, I was game, you know. It was, uh, it was good, but I felt like I soaked up the atmosphere. Although I didn't even get back to my stall after the first round, it was over fairly quickly. But yeah, it was good, mate. I thought I was, uh, I thought I soaked it up. And apparently, you didn't even hit him hard. Like Mark said, you barely touched him. So I don't know. I worry for people when you do land flush. But yeah, apparently that was kind of just like a, a passing shot, if you will. Yeah, I felt like yeah when I hit him, I feel like it didn't, it weren't clean, was it? I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember if it was a good shot or not. But I, I hit him, and I thought he, he just went down, you know. But I know if I hit people clean, I'd, I'd done a better job on him. But you know, it was a good win and I knocked him down, so it is what it is. <laughs> I get the idea that you wanted him to get up so you could just keep throwing shots and it make the, make the debut last forever. Yeah, I was thinking, get up, get up, get up. And, and then uh, if you saw the way I run at him, yeah, I'd just probably look a bit silly, but I was just buzzing to just jump all over him. But, you know, uh, in the future I'll get sturdier opponents. Like, But he was 1-0, un oh, unbeaten. I'm not saying he was a... I'm not saying he's an elite level boxer, you know, but he was, uh, he was game, you know. At the weigh-in yesterday, we looked eye to eye and he was up for it, so... Yeah, he would have come to win tonight. If he hit me with a good shot, he would have jumped all over me. So, you know, I just done him, done him. Yeah. And I know Mark said to Queensbury and to some of the other uh, media outlets as well, kind of compared your power to Deontay Wilder. Now, look, one of them, just saying it's that sort of freakish power, not comparing it really or anything. But, um, yeah, did it come with a little bit of pressure tonight? Because I know that's been banded around the internet. Frank Warren's media team have posted it out to get people excited. Was there a little bit of, I really have to do this tonight? Yeah, you say that, but um, when I was in the amateurs, I went to the European Championships. I'd done the first kid in about five seconds, and then uh, they put me on some Instagram page. I got a lot of views, and then everyone was saying, oh, you're going to knock out the Russian, you're going to knock out the Russian. So I feel like I've learned from, from uh, putting pressure on myself to stop them. So in my mind, I just get in there to do the four rounds or whatever I'm scheduled to do on the night, and if I land, then I land. But I'm just sure if I hit them clean, then they're going to go. I know that. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.